as you may have seen from my videos I like emulators now I did a recent video um, on the Amiga emulator for the PC however somebody has given me a better one or told me about a better one greetings right before I did a video about win UAE um, and somebody known as non community report uh, replied to one of my comments and suggested one called FS UAE and I have to say it's brilliant it works perfectly there's no problems with the graphics colors or anything um, adding games is a little bit dip slightly different to before you have to you know create a new profile on it but having said that it works really 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 well um, and if you don't want to be messing about with the configuration that type of thing I definitely recommend using uh, FS UAE okay um, and I'll show you some screenshots and things as well to you how it works so if you go to the website there fsuae.net slash download hash windows um, and there you see there that's the, the thing you, if you don't click on that one it completely installs as normal with you know any asking where you want to put but if you want to set, put it in, install it into a separate directory you can download one of those two so when you install it you'll see two options FSU UAE Arcade and the launcher now I just use the launcher one Okay, when you load it up, you'll see a screen similar to this. It shows your list on the side here, all the games. If you do a search, like I would do pin for pinball, you can see on there that you've got pinball illusions and pinball fantasies. Now that little icon there, not sure how well it'll zoom in, that shows you that you've actually got the game already installed. That one is telling you that you need to you can download it. The default it, it saves to well the files. I should save it into a, a certain directory but you can add it by doing this so if you tap on there and you see an option with settings please and then you've got there uh, where is it file database game database I get this one right so file database by default it looks under documents can be going kickstarts however if you add one to if you've got any you know any games anywhere else like I've got there on my D drive emulator me games floppy disk um, you know you can add another one as well so I'll just add another one so do 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 uh, where is it so like my quest D card Amiga games zipped so there's loads of games on there that are zipped okay so I'll click select folder so I'm not sure if it'll work in the, the other ones or not but what you do is tap on there and choose update file database Okay, and then it shows you all that, and then click on start, uh, scan. And the way it does it, will then scan all the files that you've got. Um, it might take a while. I mean, I've got, I've just copied some onto the, uh, the MyQuest D card just to see whether it'll load any up or not. Because um, previously, I used to, I'd extract them out of the zip file into a set, you know, into the individual ADF files. But for some, well, which is great with this one, it actually works just with the actual zip file, so that's good see now it's finished it as you can see it's finished its scan now there's another pinball uh, game that's been added to this now if I get rid of this one let me just see oh yeah you can see here look the one before that were all uh, just downloads it's had quite a few uh, from the, the director that I've got quite a lot in fact which is pretty good I've got all the all these ones as well these weren't listed before so I'm quite pleased with actually you know how it works anyhow if you want to see how it plays what you do is just click on the game that you want Similar to the other one, click on start, and then the window opens up, and all sort of like, you know, I'm not sure if you can hear the noise of the, the suppose with the disc, the actual drive of the game, uh, the, the, the Amiga, the disc drive. I'm trying to find the, so it's actually automatically pre-configured itself for my um, joystick that I'm using. Well, joypad rather well, not joystick, but you know the old Amiga joysticks. It's now picked this one up automatically, so there were no setting up involved at all. So for me, it's better because the games actually do work a bit better as well. And then, if you want to change it to full screen, press the Alt key and the End key, and then it just puts it completely, as you can see. Full screen. Now it's not proper proper full screen because you've got like a gap down here. 
but for what it is it's pretty good i don't remember this game not being as good like but that's basically what you need to do oh there's other thing as well which um, i can't remember if i did any on the video if you want to if you got like something that needs two discs and it doesn't automatically ch like use two discs which some, a lot of the games didn't do you know they said put insert disc two what you do you press on that there uh, sorry press f12 f12 key and then scroll down to the bottom and when it says removable media you click on that one and then if there's an, a second disc you'd click on the second disc press the button to continue and that will be it uh, but as we don't need to just carry on Ooh, i mean you know for, for what it were at the time it was a not a bad conversion it wasn't brilliant but i think with this one it, it's possibly not running as uh you know seems to be either on a bit of speed when you jump in which you know we yeah not the best of games one other thing to say about it as well is if you're trying to get out of the game you know if you press it if you press the alt key down uh, that will then enable you to use the mouse if you let go of it it disappears because it thinks you want to work in the actual emulator part of it so if you press the key again the the, the alt key Use your mouse or your, your trackpad, whatever you've got. Close that down, and jobs are done. So then now, you can then pick a different game, and run it. Like Banshee, that was a fight, a shooting, a shoot 'em up. Not bad, if I remember rightly. But then here we go. Oh, oh, and enter. Boom. Ah, so that's saying Kickstart 3.1. Not something not installed. No idea what that means. Hey -ho. Another thing you've got as well is the different versions of the game. So you can see we've got Banshee here, look, and you, it says RPF, AGM, whatever. You click on that and you've got a load of different options which, you know, you can choose to see whether any actually work better or not. So if you click on, like, say, we'll try that one, ADF, no. Okay, so, you know, there's probably going to be some, like I said, some games that don't work properly. Um, Barbarian first one let's try the barbarian one in fact no we're not we'll try battle chess that was a good one I was loading something but i'm not quite sure exactly what that is i'm oh, waiting for bootable media okay let's try something else okay right i've just noticed something which you know, probably not seen before but at the side of here, you see there it's got little dots that i believe shows you what version you've actually got that's available because it obviously says they're rate variant so initially it was on that one so i've chosen this one to see if this one works and it does well it it starts to load up anyway you don't get any problem at saying it's something not configured or something <coughs> so look at that and that's pretty good it looks like it's working okay a little bit of dot amiga dos thingy or that used to be this was amiga's version of windows okay so that's not gonna work <laughs> oh well never mind i'll have fun playing now this is what you use if you want to create a new configuration you click up click on that option there tap that and then it will open up somewhere there we go so you see on the bottom of it there it says unnamed configuration we also got the option there so there's no floppy disk in the drive sort of thing so right so i'm just gonna do, 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 do where is it on that bit and game zipped uh, what was i doing battle chess try and do a battle chess variants uh, variations of so I'll just try that one first so click on open okay so I'm not sure if this is actually gonna work anyway so I'll just put battle chess and then put zip and I put zip oops DF and I'm going to leave that as it is on the Amiga 500. That one gives you the option there to save it. 
download it. plugins is on there. Look. There, so I did a quick search on the internet, and it said, and the word plugins is fs uanet slash download hash plugins. Now, as you look on there, you've got various ones further down, but the easiest one is there. You can download all the below plugins bundled in one archive, which is brilliant. Okay, so you download that, download the zip file, and then extract them to this directory. So basically, within the normal directory, there's a plugin one. So documents, fs uae, and then as you go further down, plugins. So basically, copy all those or extract them into that directory, and then when you're on the game again, it will work okay. So there you go. Excellent stuff. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful, and I hope it um, makes you enjoy the emulators a lot more. Um, right, well, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up or a like, and consider subscribing to my channel because I'm going to be doing some more videos on similar things in the future. Thank you.